In the main ward of a Salaga Municipal Hospital, all admission beds are occupied. Relatives of patients here are barely able to find space to be with their own. In the corner of the ward, one of the patients is vomiting blood. Just then, the power goes off, and in no time, the heat in the ward is unbearable. There has been unstable supply of power in Salaga for more than three months. But that is just one of the challenges. Some patients are lying on mattresses on the floor because of lack of space. Audu Rashida, who is at the hospital because of her sick daughter, has seen it firsthand. Our ward, we don't have many beds. So many people are on the floor. They have to get some big place for us so that when we came for dress, we not suffer again. Sometimes when plenty people are there, we stand, uh, children will be crying, we will also be tired. Mbairo has just been brought from one of the villages on a motorbike. She looks to be in pain. But she would have to wait in queues at the OPD because the numbers are huge. Some of us, we are from villages. Our roads are not good. Maybe the person is serious sick. And you will come here and they will say they don't have drugs. And the daughter too. You go. That no one is there. Few meters away from here is a new 60-bed municipal hospital being constructed to deal with the challenges in this ancient hospital facility. But that project has stalled. Salaga South MP Haji Azuira Ibrahima has been on a warpath with Health Minister Kweku Ajima Menu. On February 1, 2022, she tabled a question demanding updates on the project. Mr. Speaker, I rise to ask the Minister for Health the status of the 60-bed Salaga Eurojet Hospital project and when it will be completed. Salaga Hospital at the initial stages suffered some challenges in the implementation, including a two-year injunction due to issues between the main contractor Mr. Yu Gets Reinvest and the subcontractor, Mrs. Michael Ghana Limited. And the contractor's estimated completion date is the first quarter of 2022. Pay their work program. Our visit to the site in October 2022 revealed there was no work ongoing. Security wardings would not allow us access to the facility. I wanted to go in there see for myself so that i could give a full complement of information to whoever the authorities are who are in charge of but i as member of parliament for the area i was denied access and so when you deny me access to that facility only because i'm not a member of the new patriotic party you are not serving the people of east Gonja. And I don't think the municipal assembly was set up to serve a government. Vice President Dr. Mahmoud Baumia on his tour of the Savannah region on October 3 hinted contractors were returning to site in the shortest possible time. Uh, this is the information from Dr. Ensia Saria finishing work right now on the Sevilla Hospital in Ashanti and the military hospital. And once that is done, which is very soon, thankfully all the materials that they need, they have. So they will move down to Salaga to do that work, inshallah. It's been two months since Dr. Baumia's visit, but work remains halted. MP for Salaga, Hajia Zuera Ibrahima, says the continuous neglect of a project means residents of Salaga and its neighboring communities remain disadvantaged. If I had the means and the resources, I'll probably go and complete that facility for the people. But I don't have it. And government owes it to the people. You saw the municipal hospital. You saw the state in which it is. I mean, it's, that, that hospital doesn't even qualify to be a community hospital and it's serving a whole municipality and yet we have a modern one that should come and take over from those and nobody seems interested back at the salaga municipal hospital patients remain in queues waiting to be attended to by the few health staff overlord of the quimby traditional area is upset the new salaga hospital project remains abandoned they give the contractors one year uh, to complete it 
but currently contractors are not on site. It is not the main contractor, but the subcontractors have issues with the main contractor with payments and other issues, which the ministry is uh, is working with. The, the overlord was upset actually that day. In the 10 years the Eurojet project has been under construction, municipal authorities have had to manage with what is left of the old facility. They have equipment challenge because some of the equipment they have are obsolete. Just recently that uh, the TB control program even gave them uh, an X-ray machine. And East Gonja needs that hospital like yesterday. So I will keep on piling up the pressure. If nothing has been done, I'm happy to ask the questions again and get the minister to come back until that hospital uh, is completed. While the political dogfight lasts, it is the poor residents, the women, children, who will continue to be at the West End and precious lives will remain at stake. Komla Adom TV3 News, Salaga.